The tourism department is moving forward after cutting ties with the restaurant group and state parks. The contracts between the state and Swadley's Foggy Bottom Kitchen was at the center of controversy, even lawsuits. I sat down with the department's new director, who hopes to right the ship. It's an interview you'll see only on Nine. It's not a typical office. The view is amazing. Over the last decade, across the Capitol complex, Shelley Zumwalt has seen quite a few. I started out at the Office of State Finance. Her new role took her downtown, but this may be the office she prefers. Honestly, it's the biggest privilege. Not a privilege without cost. In the agency she took over in October. I saw an agency that was in crisis. Crisis made public through a legislative watchdog report showing millions of taxpayer dollars misused. I think when you're in crisis and you have people that have just gone through something that is from an internal perspective stressful. Internally, an agency understaffed. We only had one attorney, less than five finance people, and then three HR people for an agency that had over 700 people. A staff burned out. This was a staff that really was not looking towards the future. They were just surviving. And, and a future at risk of losing public trust. We're going to have to continually prove ourselves to be an agency that has shifted. The top two priorities, increased transparency and additional oversight. Taking the role, she hoped to restore trust, but also it's a job she says is near and dear. I knew that whatever I did was either going to harm or help, you know, that thing that was so important to me. The piece of it that almost makes me emotional is being with family. And I think that's kind of what a lot of people feel. That's how they feel about the state parks. The weight of responsibility for those she may not meet in an office she did not expect. Giving them the trust in something that they, they've believed in for a long time. Zumwalt has gotten a reputation as a fixer after taking over unemployment here in the state during the pandemic. But the first big fix for this will be finding a restaurant to move into those state parks. We expect an announcement tomorrow and we will have coverage at noon.